Here's how Big Chinga spent her day in the van, part 13. I don't know anything about Mercury retrograde, but it feels like she channeled those vibes today. She decided that 5 a.m. was the perfect time to put her claws on my throat, and then the rest of the morning, she stalked me. Every time I looked over my shoulder, there she was, just staring and around the corner. I am not sure what this was, but she just had this look in her eyes all day. She wouldn't let us use the sink faucet, that was only for her use today, and she refused to get out of this spot. Then we had to do a manual stretch, and she added her own touch to my document. She gave me just one second of love and another to Logan. She wanted to get out of the van, and then out of her tent, but didn't want to go on a walk, but then she did want some soup. She started a fight with her mouse and warned me with a few small tail slaps that I was too close to her during her nap. She insisted on sitting like this for a while, and then sat and really studied the bowls. She thought every crinkling bag was her treats, and then whipped up a small order of bread, and then when it was time for bed, she just stared at us from this dark spot.